in this episode. One for two, evasive kill, golden goal, flip of death, extra frag. Welcome to Thunder Show. Almost every tanker of our game has managed to do a long-range kill, well, at least once. Fewer have killed two enemies in a single shot. Johansson Jr. did both and created an outstanding moment. At a range of two kilometers, this sniper penetrated an enemy Leopard and a KPZ-70 with one shot. Wow, that was awesome. The winner will soon receive five KGEs. Congratulations. Judging from the recent episodes of Thunder Show, ship captains of War Thunder really love to come up with new and innovative ways to use their torpedoes. Yet another victim of these experiments is a player by the name of Yokel. A boat that suddenly appeared from behind an island launched two torpedoes at point-blank range and dodging them seemed nigh impossible. But this video would not end up in this episode if the hero failed to find a way out of this predicament. Instead of dodging, Yokel goes flank ahead and leaps over torpedoes and the boat that launched it, splitting the enemy in half with his hull while he was at it. This was beautifully done. Your Golden Eagles are out to get you. Many players have forgotten about the football mode of War Thunder, certainly not October 27. This guy put together two teams to play ball and managed to score a very memorable goal. So what? I can already hear some of you say, well, take a look at the timer in the center of the screen. The ball hit the goal at the very last second of the game. Now that's precise. This glorious moment has made the author 5K Golden Eagles. Good one. Soviet tanks are infamous for their terrible gun depression and tough frontal armor. Tackling a well-played T-44 in close quarters is no mean feat, never mind the long-range engagements. Eugene B. had in his Italian armored car had little hope in a fair fight, until an Allied bomber dropped a heavy bomb next to his enemy, which picked up the tank and tossed it upwards, exposing the thinly armored roof of the machine, which in turn was easily defeated by the Italian vehicle. This is great teamwork, guys. 5,000 GEs are inbound, just wait a little. Every tanker is an anti-aircraft gunner deep in his heart. I guess that's why tankers always try and ground enemy aircraft using their cannons and machine guns. Damien is just like all the others, but more successful than most. You see, he took down a plane, more than one actually, but the first one was not his intended target. An enemy Messerschmitt has come out of nowhere and caught on fire after taking some hits. Another enemy plane, a Stuka, follows shortly after, suffering a critical hit from the tank's cannon. Damn, pilot's best beware of this guy. Your prize is out to your account. Thanks. 